I learned through listening to Dilla, it doesn't matter what the fuck you sample as long as it comes out good. So, fuck it. Stars. Um, I'm a producer, MC, and DJ. Originally from Wisconsin, I moved to uh, New York about eight and a half years ago. I've been making music out here since then. So, I've always been interested in music from a young age. Like when I was little, I took piano lessons. I took guitar lessons. I was in the uh, children's choir as a kid. Uh, I've always liked music. I, I've always wanted to kind of create it in some way. I never really found the right way though, like with piano lessons and with guitar and everything. It, it didn't really stick. Once I found hip hop, I just kind of locked in and, and that's been it, you know? The Brown Bag All Stars, uh, we all met at the Fat Beats Record Store in New York. All of the members worked there in some capacity over the years, and that's where we all actually met and became friends. Um, we started as just a group of friends that would hang out uh, after work and just drink in the store and, and you know party and play beats and, and stuff. And, uh, at some point, we realized like we we were all MCs that were in groups at one point, but we're now doing solo stuff because the groups weren't working out for one reason or another. And uh, I can't remember who suggested that somebody was like, let's just do a track together. Um, and that's what it was. We just got drunk and went to a studio and wrote our stuff on the spot and did a track that was, you know, a mess. Um, but it actually got a lot of good feedback from people and and uh, it kind of grew from there. Like, yo, let's do another one. Yo, let's do another one. And then we started doing shows and it just kind of grew into the group and, and the, the brand and the, the family that it is now. With Beats, it's, I'm a very, a uh, heavy sample-based producer. All of my inspiration comes from samples. 70s, 60s, 70s, funk, soul, jazz, like all that kind of stuff. Typically when I make a beat, I, uh, I always start from the sample. Um, and I usually chop the sample up and, uh, and then I go from there and I create the drums around that and stuff. I'm going to show you a quick example of how I do it. Uh, this is a song that I sample. It's actually a Sade song. Uh, called Pearls. These are the sections that I pulled out of it. So I'm just going to start laying down the sample, the chops. Usually from here, I would lay the drums next. little tip for uh, for you upcoming producers. When you lay a bass line, I learned this myself, but uh, it, it helps a lot. When you lay a bass line, it's much easier to hear frequencies in a higher range. So to make sure that your bass is, is in key and you're playing the right notes, play it first in a couple octaves higher than you want to play it. So you know that it fits the melody right and then you can pitch it back down. Some, some science for you, dropping knowledge. dream in life when I grow up, um, I just want to basically be able to live off of creating music. I want people to be able to connect with what I do in the same way that I do. Just the emotion that I feel from it and the emotion that I put into it, I want people to be able to connect with that and relate to it. But that's my ultimate goal, just, you know, create what I love to do and hope there's people out there that appreciate it the same way I do. A high roller, to me, is someone that is very obsessed with the highest quality. With me, it's music. I'm obsessed with the high quality music. And I think that's, to me, what a definition of a high roller is. Shout out to High Rollers NYC. Um, shout out to my crew, Brown Bag All Stars. I'm the audible doctor and I'm a high roller. Makes you wanna prime it how you you studio. Everybody said that my people are cheap. So if I ever give a fuck, you better keep the receipt. 
Well, hmm, if I mean it, then I say just what I feel. Got my feet up on this table where they're all leaving these deals. I could kick it, give a fuck about all these internet rap hoes. Two years straight, we've been pulling and only packed shows. This is greatness, please don't take this as bragging. Chasing this dream like a fiend, chasing the dragon. Wait till after it happens, the album is out. Then you can save your little comments with your hand over your mouth. They like, say Sleep damn. is the cousin of death. Well, Doc's the cousin of Merck in these verses and putting them to rest. No wonder he writes his best with no curfew stress. He's up and in poison, but I like... Gentlemen, let's get down to business.